Hi, I'm Tessa and I'm here with Lizzie Marvel. Hey, nice to be here. For those of us who don't know, what's Villainess and what sort of drove you to start it up? So Villainess is an online media site for young women um, and I started it because I looked at the, the media that I was reading and there really weren't that many young female voices uh, that I was reading and hearing. Um, and then I kind of looked at some of the the media that was, was out there already that was aimed at young women and a lot of it is quite sort of tabloid and it's telling you, you know, what you have to wear and what you have to look like and all that kind of stuff and I just really wanted an alternative voice that I could listen to um, and so yeah, that I just thought, well I should kind of create something that, that can actually be for all young women. Um, so from Villainess came the, the My Body, My Terms campaign. What was it about New Zealand and New Zealand society that sort of made the campaign necessary? You know, when you look at it culturally, um, revenge porn has become more and more prevalent over the last couple of years. And, you know, what I was hearing was um, for people who had photos shared of them, oh, well, you know, why would you take a photo of yourself anyway? Um, and it's all really victim blaming kind of stuff. And that's not the point. You know, the point is that sharing photographs without someone's consent is a crime. Um, so when you look at the things like gross buses and revenge porn and this kind of culture of um, normalising sexual violence or normalising shaming people online, uh, it's a really insidious kind of horrible thing. So what was it actually like putting the video together? It was amazing. Uh, it was just, you know, having all of those people in one place and a lot of people had been quite sort of nervous about, um, you know, for example, like being photographed topless. Uh, once they got there, there was this really empowering kind of vibe where people just kind of went, okay, I'm just gonna be naked. <laughs> so I was just so massively grateful, you know, to people like Twilla and Guy and, you know, just really reaching out to really different communities. A lot of people in New Zealand sort of, we gave women the right to vote first. They sort of maybe think that we don't quite still need feminism. What do you have to say to that? You do come across people who think that uh, sexism doesn't exist anymore. Pay gap is the biggest that it's been since 2008. Uh, women now earn 88 cents to the dollar. Uh, there's, you know, our sexual violence statistics are through the roof. They're some of the worst in the OECD. Uh, and, you know, also just thinking about um, narratives and the way that people think and the way people talk. And it, it's not quite equal, you know, I think we've come a long way, but I still think we've got a way to go. So My Body, My Terms has ended up sort of everywhere. It's in <laughs> BuzzFeed, it's in Huffington Post, it's on the Daily Mirror, it's sort of taken the world by storm. Was, yeah. was that what you had expected? No. <laughs> I mean, I, um, I had really high hopes for My Body, My Terms, that we'd managed to get out um, and talk to the New Zealand community. Uh, but I never really expected that all of a sudden it would be, yeah, I'm having to post in Complex and like the Daily Mail and just kind of blew my mind to be honest. And you know, I think the, the mix of like the negative comments and the positive comments really, to me, that meant that we were actually starting these conversations and you know, some of these people might actually um, be sort of challenged to reappraise how they think about things, which I think is a, is a massive win. To finish up, have you got any sort of lasting message for the young people of New Zealand, both sort of men and women alike? I think that from my body, my terms, um, the message there is really just, just you know, don't be afraid to have these conversations, to talk to your friends and talk to your whanau and just, you know, um, be really open about stuff. Uh, and, you know, from a villainous perspective, like, you know, if you've got something to say, stand up and say it, because I think the more young voices that we can hear, the better we'll be as a community.